a big challenge for Russian aviation in skies over Ukraine, Russia's air superiority comes to an end. Ukrainian military analyst Ivan Stupak says that with the air defense systems received from partners, Ukraine should not only defend itself, but also attack Russian aviation. He said this on Espresso TV. We are grateful for the promised air defense systems, but promises do not always coincide with fulfillment. There were many examples, and President Zelensky mentioned that certain types of weapons were delivered to Ukraine more than a year late. Wait, we don't have this air defense yet. There must be internal decisions. There are bureaucratic processes. How to decommission it, how to transfer it. There are issues of training our military. I believe that all this will take at least one and a half to two months if everything works in an accelerated mode, Stupak suggested. According to the military analyst, air defense systems are a weapon of defense and Ukraine needs to attack the enemy. These weapons are provided to us for defense, which we need to not only defend but also attack. If we get permission to shoot down Russian aircraft approaching our borders, it will really be a game changer. And it will make life much more difficult for Russian aviation and reduce the life expectancy of Russian pilots. That is, it will seriously help, but only in a complex, defense plus retaliatory attacks, Stupak emphasized. Recall Ukrainian pilots will take to the skies in American-made F-16 fighter jets in the coming weeks to deter Russian airstrikes, the leaders of the US, Denmark and the Netherlands announced. Kiev is set to receive 78 F-16s from a consortium of NATO countries that got President Biden's permission last year to dispatch the American-made aircraft and train Ukrainian pilots. The transfer process for these F-16s is now underway and Ukraine will be flying operational F-16s this summer. Biden, Dutch Prime Minister Dick Schroef and Danish Prime Minister Met Frederiksen said in a joint statement. While US defense experts have told The Post that Kyiv likely will not use F-16s for dogfighting with Russian jets, Yuri Sak, a former advisor to Ukraine's defense ministry, said their primary mission would be to deter Moscow's aerial assaults. The most important function of those F-16s will be its integration into our air defense system, said Sak, now an advisor to Kyiv's Minister of Strategic Industries, Alexander Kamishin. Essentially, we look at F-16s first and foremost as a flying air defense system that is capable of simply decreasing the amount of attacks, aerial attacks, missiles, drones that Russia is carrying out on Ukraine. Fire has broken out in famous Rouen Cathedral in northern France on Thursday. According to the French Ministry of Culture, the cause of the fire may be mishandling at the restoration site of the cathedral's metal spire. Seine Maritime Prefecture reported that the fire broke out at the top of the spire, which is made of metal rather than wood, and restoration work is currently being carried out there. It is not yet known whether the wooden frame of the cathedral was damaged. Thick black smoke was filmed pouring out of its main spire in the late morning in an area where renovation work was taking place. Rouen Cathedral is one of the national heritage sites of France. Fire engines are at the scene, and the cathedral has been evacuated, said an emergency services spokesman. The city's mayor, Nicolas Mayer Rossignol, took to X to say, a fire has started on the spire of Rouen Cathedral. Origin unknown at this stage. All public resources are mobilized. Thank you.